you cannot 100% be secured that's impossible and you know why because as long as you have humans working with you you cannot 100% be secured because human is the weakest link what do you do I'm, I'm not going to quote statistics right now because I've read a report from IBM. I don't have the statistics on my head. And again, this is to show that these questions are not thought out. It's not something that I know before. From IBM report, some of the things that we saw or that I read, which they have reported from their investigation and going by the event of 2023, the things that cause breach the most is number one, insider threat. Insider threat is basically maybe a disgruntled employee or an employee who is just naive. Number two is lack of security training for employees what does that mean if your employees are not trained about security if they're not aware they will click things they're not supposed to click another thing that they have also seen to be a major cause of breach is clicking on links another thing they've also seen is that people are sharing password and they're repeating passwords now those are issues that are coming from the employees now from the external threats number one is ransomware ransomware is basically an attacker getting access to your system and then you know downloading a payload that payload automatically renders your infrastructure useless like you cannot do anything and they will tell you to contact this number or pay so so amount with this bitcoin and then they will release your infrastructure that's ransomware number two is business email compromise let me paint a scenario gideon has a company that sells materials and they also buy some of their raw materials to build what they sell gideon buy something from t-man now t-man needs to get paid now arinze wants to get that money arinze now act as that fraudulent person. I reason and write an email to make it look like this email is coming from T-Man and says, hey Gideon, going by the raw materials that we've supplied to you, this is our account, make the payment. That's one way. The second way they do that is that Arise being the one that is being fraudulent now will be a man in the middle between Gideon's company and t mass company what is he doing there he's listening to email and messages so immediately t man sends an invoice of payment arise intercept that he delete it and put his own account number there once he puts his account number and account details most times they use chinese account is always domiciled in china now they send it to the to Gideon's company and Gideon company makes this payment and in 2023 was seen billions of dollars billions of dollars so coming from the employees is being naive or inside that threat or lacking awareness security awareness and training now from the external forces is a ransomware business email compromise and there was also another one that is called phishing there's phishing there's whaling there's spamming there is um smishing or you know so many of that basically it is open source intelligence and what that simply means is that you want to call the company and act as if you know everything about them or act as a different person to gain information so you're gaining that information with the sole purpose to defraud them so those were the major major compromise or major sources of uh data breaches in 2023 we've had of okta we've had of twitter we've had of uh, so many mortgage companies and even some banks even last pass you know the password company they were breached as well those are the major major sources now the solution is very simple one thing is certain right every company knows this and every cyber security professional knows this you cannot 100 percent be secured that's impossible and you know why because as long as you have humans working with you you cannot 100 percent be secured because human is the weakest link what do you do number one we have several means of doing this we're going to talk about administrative and we're going to talk about technical part the administrative part you must ensure that your employees are trained they must be trained on security awareness some companies do it every quarter where i work we enforce it every quarter 
So you do security training for your employees. You want them to know what is phishing. You want them to know how to report links that are not good. You want them to know how to not trust anything they see. All right, zero trust. You know, there are some companies that do zero trust architecture. That is the technical part. We're going to talk about that later. But you need to train your employees. That's number one. Number two, your policies, your security policies. In your security policies, it is important that password rotation, password characters, and password uh, length and duration is enforced. You need to let your employees know how long or the number of characters or either they will rotate their password in every 90 days and how they must not repeat password. These are things that you need to implement. Another part of that is the technical side. Number one is you must ensure that your companies, your staff, your employees, your team, when they want to access any critical infrastructure in your company like database that has to do with your credit card where your credit card are stored or where your uh, data are stored any employee that would have access to that cannot access it if they are not on the vpn they must be on the vpn number two you must also ensure that they do not do and and conduct any personal business on your work laptop in the same vein they should not conduct your work business in a personal laptop because you don't know how secure their personal laptop is if it's secured or not number three is zero trust architecture now companies are beginning to embrace zero trust architecture now that the way the architecture the way the security architecture and their infrastructure is designed you cannot authorize or authentic or or just gain access into any um platform or any data or any of their intranet without an authentication or authorization that is zero architecture okay that is zero trust architecture it means you don't trust any program you don't trust anybody there has to be an authorization so if you have all those things in place trust me you're going to reduce your exposure to being hacked or to threat and another thing that you have to do which is very very important and i know companies do this but small medium companies believe they don't need this but you need it very very importantly and that is doing something that we call penetration testing you have to do pen testing to know where your weaknesses are and to understand the exploits that are available for your exploit what do i mean by that gideon has a company and they accept credit card data so gideon employs me as a pen tester and say tolu i need you to run a pen test and i want to know what you're going to find so what i'm coming to do is i'm acting as the bad guy so i want to run some tools against gideon's infrastructure after i have gone ahead to find out everything i can find online that is you know open source intelligence what i can find in the public domain then i want to run some scan and you know assess what they have running what what uh, version of web server are they running and then what are the exploits that are available once i do that and i'm able to get that information the next thing i want to do is this information that i have how do i exploit that that is how hackers you know trying to gain access and they also use employees that are naive or disgruntled so it is important that you do pen test you can do it twice a year and once the pen tester gives you recommendation it's not just for you to read and put it in the dustbin ensure that you implement the recommendation that the pen tester has given to you if they ask you to patch your web server make sure you patch it if you need to upgrade upgrade if you need to not use um a, a version or any web server or any component some of you are using sftp and you know that is not actually secured so if they tell you what to do it's important you do them i hope that helps this question is very broad and next time we're gonna answer this question again but next time i'm gonna come with some statistics and some very critical point that we have seen in report and we can use that to buttress the point if you have any question you know like i used to say put it in the comment box and trust me i'm going to answer it in the next call